All right, this is number six from the 2010 um, Calc AB exam, and uh, it's a differential equation type of problem, separable, um, so we're going to have to actually find a particular solution, worry about stuff like that. Um, first thing, we're given dy dx, and we're told that f of 1 is 2, and we have to write the equation of the tangent line. So this one's pretty simple, I guess. Uh, we just substitute in, and we get that the slope is 8, and then we use point-slope form get uh, our tangent line. So nothing too terrible there. Uh, we're going to actually need that tangent line in the next problem, so I'm going to copy it over here. All right, and we're asked to approximate f of 1.1, which means to plug 1.1 into the tangent line. Um, so we do that. And we get 2.8. And the next question is, um, is what we got greater than or less than what we should have gotten? So less than the true value or greater than the true value. So let's look at the second derivative, which is actually given to you. You don't have to find it. Um, you could have found it, by the way, uh, using implicit differentiation. Um, all right, so we're told a couple of things in kind of the problem stem. We're told that um, f of x is greater than 0 um, on the interval we're interested in, which means y is greater than 0. Um, and since we're between 1 and 1.1, obviously x is greater than 0. So if you look at the um, second derivative, every single thing involved in it is positive. So we know that the second derivative is positive um, on that interval. And if the second derivative is positive, uh, the function is concave up, which means the tangent line is below. And that means that our estimate is less than the actual value. Um, so that's a pretty standard question. Um, they just told you things in kind of a different way. Um, the next part is we have to actually find the particular solution. So let's see if we can do that. Um, so we have this. Um, we separate. I'm going to use a negative exponent there for y because uh, I want to reverse the power rule. It's a little easier if we uh, just have negative exponents. So we need to integrate. So plus 1 times the reciprocal and plus 1 times the reciprocal. And don't forget plus c. I always put it on the side with the independent variable, um, so x in this case. We're told that f of 1 is 2, so I'm going to go ahead and solve for c right now. So negative 1 eighth equals 1 half plus c. So c is negative 5 eighths. Um, so we'll go back to this and substitute in that value of c. Um, clear the denominator, or at least clear the denominator for y. Um, so multiply through by negative 2, which gives us this. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to um, solve for y. So we have to raise both sides to the uh, negative 1 half. Um, technically, there's some absolute value stuff going on here. Um, because really, we have that y squared is uh, 1 over 5 fourths uh, minus x squared. And then we do the absolute value of y equals blah, blah, blah. Um, we have to choose the side that has, um, you know, you have the plus or the minus. You have to choose the one that includes the um, initial condition. So you have to choose the side that allows you to have uh, y equal 2, which would be the positive side. So that's our final answer. Um, and that's really the entire question. So uh, I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.